how to use your SkateMate Universal Ice Skate Sharpener. First of all, make sure that you undo the adjusting knobs until the blade is wide enough to easily accommodate the blade width of the skate you're about to sharpen. If you don't do that, the little Teflon sliding pads on either side here can be damaged by the sharp skate as it goes in. Next, take your skate and put the blade onto the skate like this. You'll see here that it will rock from side to side. That is something you don't want to have happen and it's necessary to tighten the adjusting knobs nice and evenly either side until the skate mate grips the blade evenly on both sides. Not just the front or the back, but evenly across its length. If you tighten it up fairly tight until it's really snug on the blade and quite difficult to move up and down, and then just slacken them a tiny bit so that it's easy to move up and down. At this point, the cylinder will align itself with the blade. I often put it on the edge of an escape on the edge of a table like that, and by smoothing a badly worn blade might take a lot of backwards and forwards movements like this to bring it back to condition, but always finish with nice long, straight, regular stripes. It's sometimes useful and quite handy to get a black marker pen and mark the blade. And that means that when you look at the blade, you'll be able to see exactly where it's marked and where it's not marked. As you sharpen, you will see the black marker blade coming out. And you want to be able to see the black marker blade, blade disappear right to the bottom of the concave surface. And that lets you then know that you're pressing hard enough for the cylinder to deform properly. Having gone up and down the blade and sharpened it, you will, of course, create little tiny burrs on the edges of the skates. And if you look closely at a blade like this, you'll see the concave surface. But you should be able to get these parts of the blade and run them down just to take the final burrs off the blade. You take the portion of the blade with these little deburring strips, place it on the blade, making sure that it stays flat and doesn't wobble about like this. It stays nice and flat, and just a simple up and down movement, left and right, will take any burrs of the blade off and leave it lovely and sharp. A decently sharp blade, you should be able to hold a blade like this and take a little peeling off your thumb. Now, just a light pressure and it should shave a little bit of thumbnail off, as you can see there. If your blade doesn't do that, it's not sharp. And it's a good enough test of a blade. Both sides should be even. And that's your blade, beautifully sharpened and ready to go.